Hello everybody and welcome to our video on chronic lung disease and home oxygen. My name is Deb, I'm one of the consultant paediatricians and I work mostly on the neonatal unit. I'm also the lead for home oxygen. In my absence, of course, any one of my colleagues will be able to support you. If your baby's going home in oxygen and you live in Hillingdon, I will be your name consultant. If you live in the Ealing Borough, you will be allocated an Ealing paediatrician. Over the next few minutes, we hope to share with you the journey that you're all about to embark on for your baby going home in oxygen and actually a few real patient stories to help you understand what's about to happen. When babies are born very preterm, often they may need a fair amount of breathing support or oxygen when they're born. If they're still needing that support when they're 36 weeks corrected, your baby has got chronic lung disease. Before your baby comes home in oxygen and that decision is made for home oxygen, we would have done various different tests in order to make sure that your baby is going home on the right amount of oxygen. Hi, my name is Diane. I'm the clinical lead of the community children's nursing team in Hillingdon. We've had a referral that your baby's going to go home in oxygen. Our team of nurses will be there to support you through this long journey. This will be an anxious time for yourself and your family. We will be there to answer all your questions. We will visit you on the unit to go through the process with you. You will have the opportunity to stay with your baby overnight before discharge. We will go home and visit your home house to check that the oxygen will be safe to be placed there. Once that's been agreed, the consultant on the unit will order the home oxygen and the company will deliver your oxygen. In the preparation of your baby going home in oxygen, usually I will sit with you and with the community nurses, possibly with the nurses on the neonatal unit um, out of the clinical environment. This is usually to give some time to you as a family to understand what it actually means for your baby going home in oxygen. This conversation will involve some of the pre-checks, including the consent forms, talking through some of the oxygen cylinders, and most importantly, the kind of support that you will all receive from our community nurses who are absolutely brilliant. What I will also cover along with the community nurses is the process of home oxygen weaning and what was to happen in case your baby was to become unwell and need more oxygen. We would also cover things such as home when the home oxygen will be removed when your baby has been weaned into air. The day you're discharged, a community nurse will come and visit. She'll go through again all the things we covered before. She will talk about the oxygen, changing the tapes, the prongs and the cylinders. She'll talk to you about immunisations, weight and growth. We will visit you as often as you want in the first week. We will do a baseline check in oxygen before making plans on weaning the oxygen. Following discharge home, usually within one or two months, you will have a scheduled appointment date for your baby in my chronic lung disease clinic, which I normally run on a Tuesday afternoon. Prior to that appointment, I would have had a few conversations with the community nurses about weaning home oxygen. So Logan was born at 25 weeks and he's been home for roughly about seven months now. He's seven and a half months corrected. Um, and in that beginning bit when we first came home, um, it was very, very tough to do. Um, but I think my biggest challenge was I didn't anticipate him to be on oxygen for so long. He had some setbacks, he had a bout of pneumonia and went back into hospital and then had to come back out on higher oxygen. And he had a plateau in weight so we had to stop the weaning of the oxygen and I think those types of setbacks are really hard to deal with. But you have to stop and remember 
you know, he's going to get there eventually. And you do have those days where it gets frustrating, but he is developing, he is getting there. You can look and think back to when he came back and he's, he's bounds forward, leaps and bounds. My name is Chinwendo and I am mom to Udochuku Madoka looking at you right now. Udochuku arrived as a surprise at 26 weeks. It's been a journey of anxiety, it's been a journey of fear, it's been a journey of unknown, especially when we were told that she had to go home on oxygen. I panicked, I tried everything to make sure that she doesn't go home on oxygen. I made sure that, oh, I told them, try one more week, try because I just was afraid of what to expect. I thought they were going to come to my house with one big machine, one big tank. How was I going to cope? Will I be able to go about with it? But she had to go home on oxygen on 0.2 um, liters. And I had fantastic support from the hospital team. The nurses were there to guide me on what to do and what not to do. And the first surprise I had was when the oxygen was delivered, I was looking to see a big tank, but actually it was just a small tank. And then I had a smaller one that actually I could take around and I was shown how to use it. And I thought, oh, this is not really as hard as uh, I thought it was gonna be. It was a bit challenging at the beginning because I wouldn't sleep. I was afraid of, you know, the clips coming off her nose. I was afraid of what would happen if it went off or more than it's supposed to be. But eventually, here she is. She came home in um, February after 15 weeks in the hospital and she was on oxygen for another three months at home. that brings us to the end of this video and um, we really hope that watching this video has given you some sort of idea of what lays ahead of you when you go home with your baby in oxygen. We do understand as a group of professionals that going home with your preterm baby for the first time is really an anxious time and we can understand that going home in oxygen on top of that has an added degree of anxiety for you. But we hope during this video we have shown you that as a team of doctors and nurses in the hospital and importantly your community nurses and all the therapists that you'll see in the community you're not on this journey alone and you will be well supported thank you so much again for watching this video for, for watching this video and a big thank you to everybody who's contributed in making it